Suratul Ali Imran continues with Ayah number 92 to 100 and then Surah Nisa starts uh, 1 to 23. Choose number 4, Quran series. Nahmatuhu nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem amma baad. So, lan tanalu al-birra hatta tunfiqu mimma tuhibboon. Never will you attend the good reward until you spend from those things which you love. And whatever you spend, indeed, Allah is knowing of it. So many people believe themselves to be good people. And the thing is that when we do something good, then very quickly we begin to feel satisfied. With it. Uh, but real piety, righteousness, real goodness is of a person who spends what they love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lan tanalul birra. You can never attend bir. Bir sig signifies ample, extensive goodness, meaning you cannot attend extensive, uh, extensive goodness, meaning you have not done much until you spend of what you love. So here we uh, see how Sahaba Ikram, Abu Talha, he spent, he gave the garden and also Umar Khattab, they spent. So Abu Talha, uh, his garden was located across from Masjid and even Prophet ﷺ used to go there and drink its uh, water and rest there. Uh, this garden is no more. The place where the palm tree stood is covered in stone and all of it is basically covered by stone and it's all part of the masjid. So the garden is gone from the world but it's forever preserved with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibn Tahmiyyah said when a person seeks nearness of uh, Allah by spending what they love then it becomes more superior to other things which are of equal value to it and prophet sallallahu said that a slave cannot truly believe until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself of good things we learn that umar radiallahu anhu when he got a piece of land in khaybar he came to prophet sallallahu and he said i have piece of land which is better than any property that I have ever received. So what do you advise me regarding Ya Rasulullah What should I do? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if you, you, if you wish, you can keep it as an endowment, means as a waqf to be used as a charitable purpose. That is what Umar Radiallahu did. He gave that land as a charity on the condition that the land would neither be sold nor be given as a gift nor as inheritance and it would be constantly be dedicated for good cause so it yields the profit that would come from it and it would be used for the poor and emancipation of the slaves and the for the travelers and the charitable cause so whatever the good we are doing allah will reward for it in this juice we learn so many good things oh you who believe believe do not take as inmates those other than yourself for they will not spare you any ruin means they wish you you would have hardship hatred has uh, already appeared from their mouths or what they just conceal is greater we have uh, certainly made clear to you the signs if you uh, will use the reason and then here in ayah number um, 20, uh, 122, when two parties among you were about to lose courage, but Allah has their ali. So because Abdullah ibn Ubay, the hypocrite, he left Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and 300 people went back to Medina with him and there were some sincere Muslim who lost courage because of that. They also began thinking of leaving but Allah was their ali so he gave them strength to remain upon Allah the believer should rely so already Allah had given you victory at the battle of Badr while you were few in number then uh, fear Allah perhaps you will be grateful meaning you should not lose heart when you face new and different challenges uh, don't you remember how Allah granted you success before how he helped you navigate uh, such a complicated situation so he's uh, uh, going to help you again what do you expect from Allah so what did Muslims have at Badr they, they only had help of Allah how Allah uh, uh, gave them so much uh, help and Allah made it possible uh, like you know the success uh, in the Badr وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَعَهِشَةً أَوْ زَلَمُ أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهِ 
and those who when they commit an immorality or wrong themselves means most sinning are not perfect they are human beings they do make mistakes so when they make mistakes they remember allah and they seek forgiveness for the sins who can forgive us sins except allah who did not persist in what they have done while they know and we learn that we learn allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says o son of adam i shall go on forgiving you as long as you pray to me and seek my forgiveness whatever may be your sins o son of adam i don't care if your sins should be pile up the sky so we should ask forgiveness allah is there to forgive us wala tahinu wala tahzanu wa antum a'launa do not be weak and do not be grieved you will be superior you will be successful in kuntum mu'minun but you should be true believer you see sahaba had such a huge uh, they made such a huge mistake they had experienced such a huge setback and the same thing happens in our lives everything is not always easy there are times when you are not able to do what you believe uh, could what you thought you could do they are failure they are setbacks but again uh, allah will strengthen you how the sahaba ikram will uh, strengthen walaqad kuntum tamannauna mauta min qabl and you had certainly wished for martyrdom before you encountered it and you have now seen it before while you were looking on uh, then it happened like uh, then after the distress he sent down upon security in the form of drowsiness so sleep uh, like you know after stress we uh, it's like uh, very much needed just uh, imagine after a uh, difficulty of the battle of uhud they actually felt drowsy some of them fell asleep overcoming a faction of you while another faction worried about themselves like thinking of allah other than uh, truth the thought of ignorance uh, saying is there anything for us to have done in this matter say indeed the matter belongs completely completely to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fa bima rahmatin min allah linta lahum so by the mercy from allah o messenger you were lenient with them and if you had been rude and harsh hearted they would have disbanded from about you so pardon them and ask forgiveness for them and consult them in the matter when you have decided then rely upon allah indeed allah loves those who rely upon so here specially Uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam leniency softness gentleness and gentleness is very important for a good leader and uh, he was a dai prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said gentleness is not in anything except that it make it beautiful prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no people of house are given gentleness except that it will benefit them and no people of house are deprived of gentleness except that it will harm them and allah gave them success in battle of badr but they lost at the battle of uhud those to whom hypocrites said indeed the people have gathered against you so fear them but it merely increased them in faith they said hasbunallah sufficient for is allah wa ni'am al wakil and he is the best depositor of affair hasbunallah wa ni'am al wakil so they, these are very powerful words we should completely rely on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they return with the favor from allah and uh, bounty no harm have touched them they pursue the pleasure of allah and allah is the possessor of great bounty and, and allah has certainly heard the statement of those who said indeed allah is poor while we are rich Uh, so when uh, like you know when we give allah goodly loan so they mock at the prophet and the other sahaba so allah says laqad sami allah allah has heard kullu nafsin zaiqatul maut every soul has to taste the death and uh, we all have to go back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we can't escape uh, from the death 
and the last ayahs walillahi ma fis samawati and to allah belongs the dominion of the heaven and earth and allah is over all things competent so the last ayah 190 to 200 last verses of suratul ali imran these verses were very dear to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the night at the tahajjud time he used to uh, re- recite this ayahs so we should also make it a habit to uh, recite this ayah because it has so much much depth and it has so much meaning forgiveness and rabbana afriq lana zunubana wa kaffir anna sayyatina tawaffana ma'al abrar very beautiful duas are there in it and we should also memorize this uh, so uh, aya surah an-nisa surah an-nisa in this uh, this is about women's right and in the uh, very first aya ya ayuhan nas ittaqu rabbakum mankind fear your lord Uh, the surah was revealed after the battle of uhud and the battle of uhud many muslims were martyred shaheed and so there were now so many households were there widows there were orphans there were many verses in surah which are related to the rights of the weak the people who are often neglected in the society so when uh, muaz radiyallahu anhu was being uh, sent to yemen as a leader of the people over there he asked o messenger of allah advise me prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said you must have taqwa means fear of allah and uh, uh, advise me another the have taqwa of allah because it is the foundation it is the basis and do not consume the property into your own like you know especially talking about you know orphans and the distribution of the wealth has been mentioned especially about the orphans you know even though you are taking care of do not eat the orphans uh, uh, property and uh, how the distribution has to be done and also allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect women's right tilka hudud allah these are the limits set by allah whoever obeys allah and his messenger will be admitted to jannah which uh, rivers flows abiding eternally and that is a great attainment and uh, but repentance is not accepted of those who continue to do evil deeds you have to overcome the evil deeds o oh, you who believed is not lawful for you to inherit women by compulsion means do not uh, make difficult uh, for them in order to take back uh, part of what you have given them unless they commit a clear uh, immorality wa ashiruhunna bil maruf and uh, live with them in kindness here special instruction is being given to the husband ashiruhunna bil maruf live with your wife in a good way qurtubi said this includes give her mahar spend on her without being cheap and stingy secondly do not be too serious and upset with the her without any reason like like hum like every time making long face thirdly friendly and loving in speech fourthly do not be rude and harsh fifth do not incline to other women like do not uh, interest in other women prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the best of the believer are those who are best in their character and the best of you in the character are those who are best in the character like you know to their wives you have to take care of the uh, the wives and and then the distribution of uh, the prohibition of the marriage of your to your mothers daughters sisters prohibition for, with your own uh, you know brother and sisters their children and how a uh, nursing mother all the list of things has been mentioned jazakallah khairan kaseera